everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. This time we're going over the articulated icons of the Feudal series, Basic Ninja, in purple, from Foosh. Before we begin, leave this video a like, subscribe to Jesse Heck Creative, click the bell icon for more creativity, and leave a comment with your favorite articulated icons in ninja color. Mine is purple. Now let's get to it. So let's go over this box first for the articulated icons of the Feudal series, Basic Ninja, in purple. That's it on the front. I like the font on this thing. It's very sort of stylized in a way that makes it look like sort of architecture kind of font. Very, you know, nice and neat and sort of lined up. And this one's a little more sort of messy and weird. It does have a little dent in the front of the box, kind of. Kind of a little sort of blood spatter right over here. This whole thing is going to be blood streak, actually. Come to the top with the Foosh logo right over here. Particularly the Icons Fuel Series. Looks very nice. We have a ninja on the side holding up his sword with this piece that isn't on him usually. We're gonna go to the back in a second. We have some more just stuff over here. All this little bio dialogue. If you'd like to read it, you could pause it if you want. It's pretty nice. This is not the usual price for that. I got that half off. I'm really grateful and glad. Thank you to the Foosh and Articulate Icons for having this on sale. On the bottom, we have all the people who made it, as well as Foosh, special thanks. And, ooh, Hong Kong, that's cool. Limited release, that's, yeah, that makes sense. All the little sort of bios and stuff. Don't put the pieces in your mouth, <laughs> I must say. <laughs> Same picture on that side as, oh no, different picture, sorry. So I'm the sword, yada yada, we already went over this. Now for the back, we have the ninjas that you can get. I got purple, collect them all. I'm just kidding, one, maybe two, I don't know. I've been playing the messenger for a while, so that's been pretty fun. There's a whole com slash tag slash AI. That's nice. Whole bio up here. When you can read that right here if you want to pause it. But enough of the box. Pretty nice box. I like this logo a lot. Probably going to put this in the corner of the little bio thing. But yeah. So I already opened the box, took the ninja out. And let's get to the ninja. So here is our basic ninja in purple as he comes out of the box. And I've been playing with him for a little bit, and I gotta say that it's good. It isn't like my favorite action figure in the world, but it's pretty good for just a company who makes limited releases and stuff, like Foosh. That's pretty interesting. Alright, so going over this guy from the head down, it looks really nice. It's on a little uh, ball hinge, taking that off. Usual stuff for like Marvel Legends and stuff like that. Looks very nice. You can go up and down with it. Putting the head back on is pretty easy. Let's wait till it snaps. There we go. You twist around, get some tilt in there, go up this far, down that far, buries down to the chest area. The face looks pretty interesting. You get some sort of scary, spooky eyes. They won't let me focus, it's too close to focus. So, you get some scary, spooky eyes. We're done pretty well. Paint is a little bit sort of off sometimes on this side in particular, but it's fair. So going back to this guy, we have, yeah, the body is just your basic kind of ninja type body. Getting a little closer on that. It's very nice. Uh, I can't really complain on it. It moves at a swivel and then a hinge. But what's really weird is that this, you get the little, uh, peg right there you can see that on the other side it's more visible you see the peg the peg hole is right there so it's just on a sort of hinge swivel thing if you put it too far too too back you can see that it's kind of a bummer I wish it was a little sort of like a gapped hole like Marvel Legends have the arms can go up and down and they can go around to the side it goes up this far down that far, it's pretty good. Pretty good detail, although it's I think it's a different color than the body itself. That's kind of weird. This is also kind of big. It's like it's too big for the figure. Kind of lanky and weird. To me, straps isn't my favorite kind of thing ever, but it's all right. Going to the other arm, the peg is kind of coming out on this side over here. I'm gonna push it in a little bit, but then that comes out on that side, so the peg is kind of mismold to the arm. And the hands are the weirdest part of the figure for me. So it's on a little tiny peg. 
and it's on a sort of swivel where half the ball and peg is in here, and the other half is embedded in the arm, I believe. I'm not going to take it out if I don't really want to. But already I can see the seam sort of trying to snap off a little bit right there, and that's kind of frustrating. Also, I don't know if I like this kind of setup for the hands and stuff. It's kind of weird. You can move it as much as you want, but it's very loose and can come off pretty easy, so that's a bummer. It doesn't really want to work too well with that on that front. And on the other side, it's the same kind of thing. It's even looser though and a little more gappy. The hands are really malleable, which is good. Just took that off. It's a figure made for posing and not for play, which is pretty obvious from now. You get a trigger finger in there too. I don't know if ninjas can hold guns or anything, but all right. So you get a waist turn, waist turn on the bottom. For that it was kind of stuck initially. I had to kind of force it a little bit. This little belt right here looks pretty cool. I like that it breaks up the uh, action a little bit. The crotch piece right here. You can go out this far, and then down this far, and out really far, and back. It's pretty okay. It's all right. So, swivels on the here and the legs, and then you get a, I don't know, just, doesn't really kick to the butt. It's kind of a shame, it's the wrinkles and stuff, all the patterning and everything. It's pretty good. It, I thought it was initially pegless, and then I saw pegs here, and they're, they're good pegs. It's kind of cracking up here, though, on the top, where the peg was put in. So, that's, that's good, I guess. Swivel at the boot area on the bottom. And then you go up here and down there, and that's my problem with this figure. My exact issue is this thing right here. And I'd actually shave some pieces off of this that were kind of coming out too far. But the foot coming off, like, as I opened the package, it was very frustrating. And it's a shame, because this is a pretty good figure. And, yeah, I don't know. It's a pretty, it's an okay figure insofar as... Like construction, and everything. But I mean, you can just tear the pieces off easily, and that's how it shouldn't happen. You should be able to just, you know, work the figure, and it should stay put and not come apart on you, like this foot does all the time. So it's kind of frustrating to me, and doesn't really jive with what I think of major action figure, uh, just company, or at least action figure sort of fan company should be doing. They should have better quality control with their items and stuff. But I got it because it was purple, and because I like the color purple, you know, orange purple is my thing. And I thought they'd be orange ninja, maybe, I don't know. But so far, I'm just not very impressed with this whole matter itself. But that being said, let's take a quick break, and we'll go on to the accessories and the overall wrap up. Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. So the accessories are given to you in this bag over here, and I don't know, it's kind of crude. I mean, shouldn't they have some kind of clamshell for it? But putting in a bag is nice. Having this logo is pretty good. Also a name slot, you could put your name in there, just in case you go over to your friend's house and bring your articulated icons. That's pretty cool. So yeah, this little red stripe on top should have been purple. That would have been nice to color code their ninjas. So yeah, so let's see what we got. He comes with this hood you can put on him. And basically what you gotta do is take this off, this head, and put the head inside the hood. And then put the hood back on right over here. It's that simple, really easy, clean, neat. Looks really nice. Alternately, you could take this head off, tap that hood, that head out of that hood, and then get this piece right here, which is the hood when it's sort of off. Take that piece, put that on here. That looks pretty nice, looks very good. Looks sort of stylish on him too. Also it helps out with this back piece right over here. That looks good, looks nice. But that's not really the head that's my favorite head, because of the eye paint on this one. Taking that off, taking that off. This head is one of my favorites. It fits really snug on the ball, and I'm worried though because if you turn it, you kind of don't really turn the, you can't really turn the head too much. It's kind of sort of fused on there in a way. It does stress the peg a little bit, and I kind of worry because of that. There's some sort of issue going on with this right over here on the ball. But this head looks the best to me so far. You could even wear it with the hood. And showing that off, you have to kind of like put it into this little tassel back here. Slides in. 
and slide that in there and then put that right on there. I think that looks kind of cool. Looks nice at least. Very kind of s mysterious and spooky. He has an extra sort of <laughs> extra material in there. It's very nice. Taking that off though, tapping that out of the hood. Well, I do like that look. It's not my favorite. Getting the heads out of the hood is the hardest part. Just gotta kind of keep tapping it. Here's the ninja with the hood down, with the sort of multi-covered face. And that looks pretty good. We have our single covering face and our multi-covered face right over here. But that's not what really we want to talk about. Let's get to the accessories and other pieces for him. Next up we have this chest strap right over here. It's flimsy, kind of weird. Not only my cup of tea, my favorite thing. Also you can take his arms off, which kind of leads to this. Take the arms off and then just pull the chest harness up over everything. Keeps getting caught on stuff, it's kind of annoying. Take this piece right here, this belt looking thing. There is one buckle here and one buckle here. You want the this buckle on the front, the other buckle on the top of the shoulder. And you'll see why in a second. You could also switch it around and do the other side, but I don't know if it's really designed or made for that because it doesn't really seem to want to mold or shape to that piece. So we're going to do it on this side right over here. Taking that, putting that right over there. Looks good. Take the arms, make sure you have the correct arm on the correct side, and port them back in. And that's pretty cool. Yeah. So on the back, it has a little hole right here. And you can match the hole up with this hole right over here, and put his sword holder things in there. I forgot what sword, hol sword holders are called, his little... A scimitar holder, I guess, or his ninja, ninja sword holder. But why I'm struggling with words is because I'm struggling with this right now. I can't match up these holes in the back, and that's frustrating. A lot of frustrating things about this figure. This isn't really the most intuitive figure. It is an adult collectible, but it doesn't have to be super duper tough to get into like that. But I got it. It looks nice. It looks pretty good on him. Now the swords, we have a smaller sword. You could just put that small sword right in there. Fits nicely. The larger sword, put that in there. If I remember correctly, there was I think, a paint defect on this, but no, it looks actually better. Okay, guess it was something else. Maybe from the inside of the sheath. That's what the word is, sheath. It looks good, the swords in the sheath. The swords actually can come out quite easily. You can put them in his hands quite nicely. The hands really give way really well. It's pretty cool. So yeah, we got the swords, we got the sheath, but what if we don't want to use these hands? We can use other hands. He has some sort of karate chopping hands, and that's pretty cool. Some regular sort of just fingers together hands. They look nice. Not the best though, because it looks like the paint is kind of coming off of them. There's a lot of white on them, like the paint wasn't applied or something. They look kind of silvery and sort of weird and that's kind of off-putting to me but they're they're pretty good hands they stay on quite well at least they don't fall off like the uh, other holding stuff hands do like these do these hands fall off a lot taking these off and finally we have our fists I don't think I'm gonna be using them because honestly karate chopping is way cooler yeah so okay that there doesn't really want to go in too well it's a very very trial and error kind of figure and honestly figures should be ready to go out of the box this foot keeps falling off too sometimes I have to keep you know messing with it so it doesn't just plop off okay so yeah he's just a good figure I guess I also want to mention he has this small knife right here he can wield but it won't really do too well in this sort of limp wrist kind of thing right here where his wrist just keeps on waggling. He doesn't really want to stay posed too much. The weight of the knife really brings it down. So I'm just going to give him karate chop hands and probably call it a day on this guy. To be honest, to be upfront, this is not a good action figure. This one specifically, I'm saying. Maybe there are better purple ninjas out there, but I maybe have gotten a lemon. Who knows? But... 
honestly, I'm not really impressed or happy with this. I love the floosh, I love what they do, I love their action figures, yet I'm just not the biggest fan of this whole thing right here. Yeah, it's purple, it looks really nice, yet it just isn't my cup of tea when it comes to the whole thing. This is probably how I'm going to keep my figure. I was going to use the other head, but it's just too much of a hassle to switch all the, the hood and the head and all the pieces out. I don't know. It looks good. I, I just don't know about keeping this guy in general. And I'm already getting another one coming in, and yet I think I might take that one back too. Because this thing is just really poor quality control. And I wish it would be better. I mean, this looks cool and all, but I don't know. Just is really my cup of tea. But let's go over some size comparisons and whatnot. The articulated icons purple ninja stands at about six inches tall. Exactly. Here is the articulated icons purple ninja next to the G.I. Joe classified red ninja and the G.I. Joe classified storm shadow. Here is the articulated icons purple ninja next to the Marvel Legends hand ninja and Jesse have created. Nice! A ninja fight! My bet's on the red one! So overall, the Articulated Icon's basic purple ninja is kind of a dud to me. It doesn't really offer anything that you can't get of other action figures. It doesn't really have butterfly joints. The sculpt is good. The paint is alright. The articulation is fair, at least. But it could have way more. I do think that there are a lot of things that other action figure lines can take from this figure, though. Like, the amount of hands are great, the amount of accessories are great, the price tag is double what you'd usually spend, but having it be on sale right now is great also, but this just isn't for me, sadly. I thought it'd be really cool to have a purple ninja in my action figure group that wasn't even from any of the Hasbro lines that I collect, and yet it just is very lackluster and underwhelming to me. I appreciate the time I've had with it though, it's been pretty fun, but I honestly think that this just isn't really my cup of tea at all. But I do think that if Articulated Icons gets better and better, eventually they'll come out the product, so I'll blow this one out of the water and blow it away. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jessieheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned!